The Bible's book of Ruth is a small book, only four chapters, just a couple of pages in my Bible. But it's an important book that shows us the blessings of obedience, the loving, faithful nature of our God, and it demonstrates beyond the shadow of a doubt that God responds to his people when they cry out to him. As King David said, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. We see that in Ruth's story. In chapter 1, we get the background and an introduction to the main characters. There's Elimelech and his wife Naomi. Their two sons were Malon and Kilian. But the book really focuses on Naomi and one of her two daughter-in-laws named Ruth. After her two sons died, Naomi decided to return to Moab, her homeland. And she encouraged her daughter-in-laws to do the same. One did, but Ruth, we're told, clung tightly to Naomi. And she spoke the words that the fame of this book is built on. Don't ask me to leave you and turn back, Ruth said. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Wherever you die, I will die and there I will be buried. May the Lord punish me severely if I allow anything but death to separate us. Ruth was committed to Naomi, even unto death. And when Naomi saw Ruth's commitment, she said nothing more. How refreshing to see the family dynamic that developed between Ruth and Naomi. Ruth was young, a desirable woman who could have, some would argue should have, moved on at that point. But her commitment to Naomi didn't end with her husband. God had given her a new family, and that family was now her life. We also have a new family in Christ. Yes, we're forgiven, we're set free, and we have a secure future. But we also have a wonderful new family that we are bound to in Christ Jesus. And my prayer for each one of you today is that you would cling tightly to that family, just as Ruth clung to Naomi. You see, we're better together because God designed us that way.